probably one of the key questions is the, is the role of clouds. I mean, the, um, the, the main factor, the main reason behind, let's face it, face it the large range uh, in the climate sensitivity, the equilibri equilibrium climate sensitivity, and sorry for using jargon here, but um, <laughs> probably uh, the readers of this or the viewers of this will know what we're talking about. Uh, climate sensitivity is simply actually the, the amount of warming uh, that, you, that you get at equilibrium when you double the amount of uh, CO2 in the atmosphere. But the range for that number has been basically for the last 40 years. Um, 1.5 to 4 uh, to 4.5 degrees C with some fluctuations I mean it has been reduced a little bit uh, during AR4 it went from 2 to 4.5 uh, etc there were nuances but basically it's a large range it's a factor of three it would make a big difference uh, to, to reduce that uh, that to reduce that range and to know better uh, if uh, for a doubling of warming, uh, a doubling of, of the uh, concentration, uh, if the warming would be 2 degrees, 3 degrees or, or, or 4 degrees. It would make a big difference for policy makers as well when they discuss the risk management because the risk would be better known. Uh, so, and, and the main factor behind that is, is, is clouds uh, microphysics and the way clouds interact with, with uh, other elements in the climate system so and and relatively little progress has been made actually when when Charney published in 1975 uh, its first uh, assessment of the range of uh, climate sensitivity it was 1.5 to 4.5 and it's still the same today so little progress has been made and it the main factor is is the uncertainties around clouds